in an emergency podcast. Let's go. The pass rusher we've been talking about for months is here. According to multiple reports, the Bears have signed Yannick Ngakwe. Let's go. Greatest day in Bears history? Uh, anybody? Anybody? No. Greatest day in Bears history? Yeah. It's not quite the moment of Khalil Mack in 2018 uh, when they uh, surprisingly It's not even traded. the moment of DJ Moore in the trading the it's number still, one pick a few it's months ago. a big moment because this is a turning of the tide for the Chicago Bears, and a move like this shows that. They are ready to win right now. And the excuse mm. – they are ready. They are trying to actively win games. Last year – was a tankathon. The last eight games of the season, I was actively rooting for the Chicago Bears to lose football games. And today is just another sign of many signs we have gotten in this offseason that they are ready to try to compete to win a division. Try being the operative word. I'm not saying they're going to. Boy, you talked that down over the last 20 seconds. That was an unbelievable job by you. I mean, it was like Super Bowl to try to win a possible division in the NFC North. I mean, we're going to keep our expectations at a certain level, but I think this team absolutely has a chance to win this division. Before the Yannick Ngakwe trade, I thought that this team could win nine games. With Yannick Ngakwe, I feel even stronger about that chance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nick, <laughs> oh, I, I think I think the Bears recognize and look at their defensive line. And we're like, okay, we need to go add some people. Let's go add some guys right now. And you know, obviously they they do like Travis Gibson, Dominic Robinson, Demarcus Walker, but it, they still had money to spend. You guys and Yannick Ngakwe was the one guy that still made sense. It's still you know only what twenty eight years old, and he's gonna get you eight to nine sacks a, a year because he's done that with five different teams. So I think that when you look at what he, what he brings and what the bears didn't have, it's exact. It was a perfect match for, for it to eventually be made. We've been talking about this forever. It seems like, and now it's finally here. Yeah. That's my, that's my takeaway. Look, they had to spend money. They needed an edge rusher. This was the best dude that was out there. They didn't want to give him at least it seems like a multi-year deal. They got him for one year. You have all the money to spend next year. He's going to help this football team. There's no way that he does it. How much will fit? We'll have to wait and see, but he's going to help. And he's, that means that Justin Fields is going to have the ball more in his hands. This, this to me is a logical Ryan polls right down the middle. Same thing. We need a right tackle. Let me go get the, let me go, let me go get Darnell, right? That's who I like. I'm not going to take a huge swing on Jalen Carter and see that go sideways. This is the best guy out there. I don't want to overpay for him, but he certainly makes sense if we can get him at the right price. And they did. So I just think it's a very solid play once again by Ryan Poles. And I'm excited about it because it does give the Bears a better chance to win. And it also gives Justin Fields a chance to have the football more, you would think. Here is exactly what Yannick Ngakwe is. I just want to make sure that we're all, you know, on the same page here for the most part. And this is a guy who I liked a lot Uh Coming out of Maryland, I think he's a very good player. Um, he has, and this is important, he has had at least eight sacks in every year of his NFL career. And he's been in the league since 2016. Okay, originally drafted by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Eight sacks in 2016, 12 in 2017, nine and a half in 18, nine and, uh, eight in 19. Uh, then he gave... He was across two different teams, Minnesota and Baltimore, in 2020. Total of eight sacks between those two stops. Gave the Raiders 10 two seasons ago and gave the Colts nine and a half last season in what was a similar scheme, similar-ish scheme as what uh, the Bears run with Matt Eberflus. They were not in Indy together. That's important to point out. But this is a pass rusher. I like to call him a pass rush specialist. He is instantly, in my opinion, the best pass rusher on this team. And it might not even be very close. What he's not is a three-down player. And that's the caveat. That's why he's still available. That's why this is a one-year deal. It is worth $10.5 million with $10 million guaranteed, according to Adam Schefter and Ian Rappaport, because he gets sacks. Sacks are important. 
Sacks are what the Bears lack. Sacks are what the Bears need. That's what Yannick Ngakwe is going to give them. But he's not very good against the run. And so he's not a three-down player. And that's where this helps the team. But for me to be like, oh, this all of a sudden is like a sign that they're going for it, that this is the start of the competitive Super Bowl window, I don't think that's what this represents. I think it represents a missing piece on what to this point has been a pretty impressive defense in training camp and a defense that needs to play a hell of a lot better to help support the quarterback. Because right now, Ryan Poles has done everything he could in this offseason to help support the quarterback. But part of that is making the defense better. And at some point, you got to add a pass rusher. So that's what this did. It's a great move. makes a ton of sense. It does not hurt them at all in the future. Nope. But I also don't want to go overboard in what this signifies in the big picture. Right. And like I said, it, I, when I first got on my rant early, it wasn't about winning a Super Bowl. It was about being a playoff contender. We've all said during this offseason, the hope is that this team by December can still be in that in the hunt graphic. And this gets them closer to that goal, because as you mentioned, this was a need. Uh, Rex Smith in the chat I had to comment up here for a minute or so. Total Bears defensive end sacks last year, six and a half. Yannick sacks last season, nine and a half. As an entire defensive line. Last year, they had 10 sacks as an entire defensive line. He had nine and a half. So you add that to that room. They have Terrell Lewis, who has been making plays here at camp. We have to see more from him. We have to see him do it in preseason games and everything else. But this now knocks down that depth chart. They got a week to look at Demarcus Walker and Terrell Lewis and Dominique Robinson and Travis Gibson. Now you start to add depth. I mean, is it the best defensive end rotation in the league? No, but it is decent depth they have at that position now and it gives these rookies on the interior defensive line a chance to develop the more guys you have that the that the offense has to account for will give those interior rookies a better chance to develop faster jake flanagan's putting uh, yeah i'm sorry nick i'm just pointing out our jake flanagan our uh our gm who's also diehard bears fan just putting in a little private chatter that he was he, uh and gaku was with the bears defensive line coach travis smith the raiders in 2021 look the bear the bears had 20 sacks last year total everybody included 20 this guy had nine and a half i mean it jaquan brisker led the bears in sacks with four right the, they had a franchise the, record low for sacks from their defensive line in Chicago Bears history last year. Yeah. And they and they did not really address it and today they did. So we we and they all might knew- have found a diamond in the rough in Terrell Lewis. We don't know yet until we get longer down the road with him. He's had injury history has been his biggest problem in this league, but in the first week of training camp, I would say he's like cuz DeMarcus Walker probably was leading the first 3 days in, but since pads have come on, and Demarcus Walker got banged up. I would say Terrell Lewis is in the leader of the Derby of who's the best defensive end before Yannick Ngakwe got in here so far at camp. Well, and this is a huge bolster to you know that NASCAR package that the, the the package where they're you know they're going after the quarterback. They kick Demarcus Walker inside on those downs. Um, you know, I don't know if they use Javon Dexter in that spot to still have a big guy or they go with Zach Pickens or they stick with, you know, Justin Jones in those spots. They have options now is the point though. It just, it's like, it just makes the whole thing look a lot different when you add a pass rushing specialist like Yannick Ngakwe on those downs. So you earn the right to rush the passer by getting them in third and long. You still got to stop the run, which I do think encouraging sign. The bears seem much more, more stout up the middle. The question I still had, though, was if you can stop the run and get the offense in an obvious pass situation, did they still have the bullets to go get the quarterback? And I think that was the big question. Now they have that guy. It's a great signing. It makes all the sense in the world. I think all this whole offseason, quite frankly, like we talked about Yannick Ngakwe at the Combine. Mm-hmm. He yep. always made the most sense for the Bears to go out and sign, especially to a one-year deal like this. And I, quite frankly, did not care what the number was as long as it wasn't a long-term deal. Um, and even a two-year deal I would have been okay with. But they go one year. They have this. They still, I think, after this deal, have like $17 million in cap space, even after this deal. So this is, uh, this is a great move. Bears fans, hit the like button. Be excited about it. 
Be as excited as Greg Braggs. I didn't mean to bring you down, buddy. Go, go. No, go, I, I do get something it. Hey, crazy. We, do we something have, crazy right now. We have do something crazy. Get, dance, <laughs> monkey. No, and we we have we have balance here, and that's the thing I like about our team. We have good balance. Everybody kind of comes from a different perspective, of course. At this time of year, I always get gassed up, and it just kind of leads into the season. And the longer we go into camp, the more excited I'm going to get. And then when we make moves like this, yes, it just does. Uh, just add fuel to the fire. So I'm excited for this season to get going. I'm excited for week one against Green Bay. We still have a long way to go before that. So I'm excited to see Yannick Ngakwe get into camp. Nicholas Mounts, $2 Super Chat, as Adam said. one thousand pe- Over 1,000 people in here in the chat. And now it's over 1,200. Please hit the oh. like button, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, jumping up and doing a, a breaking news show, emergency podcast for all you fine diehards out there. And I did want to throw in, we don't have to, we'll try to get to as many super chats as we can, but Missouri Mauler, $20 super chat, brick by brick. That's right, Missouri. Yannick is that guy that will elevate the rest of the defense like more does the offense. And it like for me, I like the the other thing, you know, when we, we've talked about it earlier with um, our guy, um, Mark, help me out with uh, NBC Sports Chicago, who was such a great guest. Uh, a few weeks ago. Oh, you're, you're talking about uh, Glenn, Glenn Morgan. Morgan. Yeah, Glenn yeah. Morgan was great. Fantastic interview. And the thing that he pointed out in that interview that really stood out to me was the amount of interceptions that this secondary had with the lack of pass rush and uh, her quarterback hurries. Uh, you know, he said it's not just about the sacks. It's just about even getting quarterback hurries. And they were able to get 14 interceptions as a secondary with that lack of pass rush, now you add a guy in here that's consistently shown he can get to the quarterback that's going to help the other guys on the depth chart. And this secondary, as we said on Wednesday, was balling out. So the more you can help them rush that quarterback's clock, the more interceptions and turnovers we're going to get, and that's a staple of an Eberflus defense. So I'm not sure how much that actually plays into it, but I do wonder, like, is Poles and Flus and Allen Williams all watching how the defense looks at training camp, thinking, like, you know what? it actually does make a sense for us to spend on Ngakwe because we do have something that we really like the way it's coming together. Tremaine Edmonds, obviously the, the huge signing there. So I do, I do wonder how much they're looking at what they're seeing. And the defense had an enormous day yesterday. Uh, so maybe this is kind of a flip on the up, if you will, like, Hey, we like what we're doing. If we can actually get some help getting to the quarterback, this defense could actually be middle of the road. And if they're middle of the road, this offense comes together. Well, now we might really have something perhaps ahead of schedule. Yeah. And they've been talking about it, right? Poles has been talking about, it. they wanted to be calculated if they were going to make a move, like it had to be the right player, right price and not, you know, salvage the future. And it just happened that it, so all those pieces came in to play today. So and that's why Yankee Gakwe is here. A stat that I think will get Bears fans fired up about since entering the league in 2016, you guys, is 65 sacks. Playing, again, five different teams. Tied for the seventh most among all defensive players. Only guys ahead of him right now, Aaron Donald, TJ Watt, Cameron Jordan, Chandler Jones, Miles Garrett, and Khalil Mack. So when we talk about he's a pass rush specialist, he definitely is that. And he's been one of the best ones since he was drafted in 2016. And that's what the Bears are getting, a pass rush specialist to help for a defense that didn't really have that guy. Well, he's that guy when in terms of getting to the quarterback, again, like how Adam prefaced it, not a three-down player, but he does know he's got one specialty, one one tool in the toolbox. It's getting to the quarterback. Our fearless leader in the chat, unless this is a different Jake Flanagan, the Bears went from a team I believe could reach the playoffs to a team I expect to now. That's right, me and Jake Flanagan going full meatball all day long. (laughs) I mean, but here's the thing. I agree with you that even before this signing, I think the Bears were a sneaky team to to really challenge the Lions. And And I think that this is just another reason that that can... And that can happen, but like, I don't know. The, trying to put the impact into wins and losses, like maybe Yannick and Gogway's worth half a win. That's still a lot in the NFL. That's a that's a you know that's a huge amount. But some you know something like that to have that extra pass rusher that you know in a huge moment late in the game that can go get the quarterback. He's a good player. I mean, by the way, great job by him. You know, he doesn't have to go to the first couple weeks of training camp. Gets his ten million dollars <laughs> mm-hmm. guaranteed. But also a great job by Ryan Poles, right? 
because the previous GM, Ryan Pace, had no poker face. He had no poker face. And anytime there was a need, he would freak out and overextend for that. Nick Foles would have had been released. Instead, he trades a fourth round pick for him. That's the kind of, he ha- he would trade up constantly in the draft for guys instead of letting guys fall to him. Ryan Poles is the antithesis of that. He lets guys fall to him. He trades back. He waits for guys that are on the market and lets the market play itself out. He doesn't give in to contract demands. He sticks to his number. I, I, Ryan Poles has consistently shown patience. The only one you could argue against is the Chase Claypool move as a, 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 against the grain of what he's shown this so far in his tenure. But this is another example of letting the market play itself out. Yeah, and, and even the Claypool thing, and, and we've obviously talked about that a ton, he made what he thought was a very logical play. It wasn't it wasn't some over the top. The Bears needed was receiver up. The quarterback needed help. He he didn't like the market, so he went out and took a swing. Maybe it'll turn out to be better than it than it looks right now. So, I, but that's what I've been underlining with polls the whole time. He makes he's doing logical things. He conducts himself in a lot in in a in a professional manner. He is a respectful. There's just a lot of things about polls that I think Bears fans should really enjoy, and especially like. His latest comments about having Kevin Warren in there—that he's got a partner. I mean, it's just such a huge. It's a huge deal. And I imagine polls will talk tomorrow or in the next couple of days about this move, and you know there'll be some type of formal introduction um, for Yannick and Gakwe. It's a big deal. It's a big signing. I, I, I I'm, and I'm excited that it happened now. Like that, that it didn't mm-hmm. just. Uh, this thing could have lingered. It could have been like later in the in the in the preseason or in training camp. Get this guy in there. Let's see him in practices. Let's see what kind of difference it makes. Let's see what. Let's see him go up against Darnell Wright, like and get those reps in practice. Like uh, that's what I'm excited about. Yeah, the, the, I think Chad put it in our, our chat here that this is going to be good for Darnell Wright and Braxton Jones. Honestly, like those guys need to work on, you know, just being able to stop good pass rushers. Yeah, I could, we could do that. So I think it's going to be good for both the, the young tackles that the bears have the, this, the protection up front, like knowing that you have to go up and try to block that kind of guy. So I think it's good for them as well. And I know that he primarily last season, at least played off the right edge and maybe it changes a little bit with the bear. I don't know if like exactly how they'll do that, but that's where he primarily 640 snaps out of 732, according to Pro Football Focus. So if he is just a one side of the line, you know, specialist, maybe that's what they get. But, um, you know, I think it's going to be also help, very helpful for the Bears young tackles to block that guy, too. Well, I know we got a lot of super chats we want to get to. I have no idea where Bragg just went, just disappeared off the face of the earth. I, 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 <laughs> I went to go find Yannick. And he's I, in, he's in control of putting those comments up on the screen. So, I, I was I was worried that it was it was uh, some level of of my own internet issues, which I think are happening tonight because we're having a major rehabilitation house thing going on in this house. So I apologize if I've going in, going in and out at all. But I got to be here because I just think it's just a this is. I get it. There, this doesn't mean they're going to win the Super Bowl or go to the playoffs or and and even though it, but it, it but it elevates their chances for having a season that we've all been really really wanting to see and what I'm again super excited about is that they are doing logical uh, reasonable patient there's a lot there's the way they're building this team is exciting to me very exciting and, and they're, they're giving Justin Fields a chance to be the quarterback that we all want him to be this year. They've, they've, they had an offseason dedicated to that. And now they're, this defense, I'll, I'll, I'll say to, to your point, Hulk, like defense c- could, in theory, be sneaky good, which would be just – that, that would be enormous, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I, I think sneaky good is a decent way to, to put it. Um great i don't know but like sneaky into the top 10 sneaky competitive sneaky yeah. sne- sneaky able to get off the field sneaky whatever you want to call it like <laughs> getting off the field would be nice That'd be i a, mean a, seriously yeah. they, well they need to get one of these rotational pieces to pop that they've brought in whether it be the rookies in jervon dexter or zach pickens or andrew billings a veteran or demarcus walker a veteran who's made plays in this league 
they brought in some different rotational pieces to add to Justin Jones, who I thought played well and, 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 and took stole Mark's heart halfway through the season in new England. But if they can get one of these guys to pop and surprise, you know, and, and, and be a uh, Alex Brown type. I know some people have compared uh, DeMarcus Walker to an Alex Brown type. If he can be that, you know, then all of a sudden now you're cooking with gas. If Jervon Dexter can develop faster than most rookie D tackles can, now you're cooking with gas. That's that's the key. I like Enrique. Sneaky 17 and 0. <laughs> I like it. That's a good that's a good comment. All right, here. I know we got a lot of super chats. Let's fire those up chats. before we get there. Uh Nick, you want to handle uh, our friends at AG1 here? I got you. Yeah. Um our next partner, AG1s, um, is great because one, you only need one scoop of your AG1s, which you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods probiotics and adaptogens to help start your day off right and this mixture of ingredients well it helps your immune system gives you energy and improves your focus and that's why i take my athletic greens and you should absolutely do the same and what's awesome about your athletic greens is that it costs less than three dollars a day and so you're investing in your health and it's cheaper than you know maybe having a whole cold brew habit so you're doing one good for your body and also for your wallet and right now it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. And to make it easy, Athletic Green is going to give you one free year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com forward slash CHGO Bears. Again, that is athleticgreens.com forward slash CHGO Bears to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutrition insurance. And this episode of CHGO Bears, the emergency edition is brought to you by BetterHelp. We love BetterHelp. BetterHelp is, uh, you know, it's like adding Ngakwe to your team. It just, mm -hmm. it's exactly what you need. Uh, you know, in all seriousness, if you're going through anything in your life right now, it could be, you know, from anything like you got a big job change or change in your relationship or, you know, you're, you're not a Bears fan and you didn't get Yannick Ngakwe. I mean, anything, talking it out is what you need. And uh, and better. that's where better help comes in because uh, I'm a big fan of therapy. I know a bunch of us here on the CHGO Bears team, we are big believers in therapy. And uh, I want you to give better help a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Super convenient. The, what you do is you fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist. And you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge if you need to. So head to betterhelp.com slash CHGO. Answer a few questions about yourself and your goals. You'll receive an email once you're matched. Start connecting with your therapist. From there, you can start scheduling sessions. And uh, we're going to give you some help here with a code. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash CHGO today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash CHGO. If you are have the if you have your dream job and are getting yelled at by Bears Twitter on a daily basis and don't know how to handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's great uh, yeah that's, that's a real great. thing though yeah uh, yeah those those yeah. those hey man it's a wild world out there on Bear, bears twitter mean they can streets beat you, of bears twitter they can beat you down as much as you mm -hmm. just want to shut your phone off and ignore it you know oh, oh they are they're they're out there by the way shout out to uh our guy eric yesterday i'm driving down lakeshore drive and he rolls down the window and he just like screaming at me chgo it was. I. It made my day, Eric. Thank you uh, for saying hello. And I did nearly crash into the barrier, but you know, I survived. I, I survived. So we're all we're here and we're good. Uh, yeah. Got continue. A ton on. of super chats we can get through, um, but that's up to you guys. Bragg just just terribly unimpressed with that story of a random guy in Lakeshore no, Drive I mean, giving you a it's shout. A out. Segue. It's a I've got. Segue. I've got. I've got 17 topics from Gary Ross that we can get to also if, if you like to do that. Um, well, mainly, yeah. I, I, <laughs> want, I love Gary, but I think the Super Chats are going to take uh, priority. Yeah, he's worried about Dom Rob. Uh, and I, I think okay. Dom Rob, I think mm -hmm. Dom Rob's going to be okay. Dom Rob's going to be fine. Let's go, Dom Rob. He's going to get his, his – he's going to learn from Yannick, and he's going to get his opportunities. Bra Braggs, I'm going to give you the power to fire through some Super Chats okay. here. Uh, 
Uh, Double D, $5 Super Chat. Malort shots around for Yannick Super Bowl. He put owl, but... Uh, superb owl. Super, <laughs> superb owl. I missed the beat. Yeah. You know. So no Malort shots for me. Me and Nick took Malort mm. shots last year uh, for that preseason game where the Bears mopped the floor with Seattle. So we we're, did. Good, we're good just on all Just think that. about that. Think about what you just said. Yes, that, that was a poor choice. <laughs> well, and th- that's what I said. Like, you know, people are like, oh, you get hyped every year for camp. Well, last year we did not get hyped at camp at any point last year. The only moment where we almost got a little tricked, as we do pulling at our heartstrings as fans, was the Seattle preseason game where they looked pretty good. Fields run around and <laughs> through for three touchdown passes. Then they won week one, and then the bottom fell out. I'll this, tell you the I'll tell you the lesson I learned from that game, Braggs, and that was that I pegged Seattle to be the worst team in the league after that game. Right. And they yes, made the playoffs. Yeah. So right. and Lewis Riddick said Seattle would be better than the Bears, and Bears fans railroaded Lewis for that opinion, and he ended up being right. So, you know, things can change, you know, early in a season. But I do there was no point at training camp last year where we were trying to talk ourselves into this team having a chance at being playoff contenders. There is a different vibe to this year's team. Uh, let's try to fire through these. Chubbs, well, 80. Go ahead, Mark. I just want to, It's not a super chat, but Gucci Finesse deserves some love for us. I thought I saw Carmen in the loop today, but it was someone stud granny. That's funny, Gucci. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my guy, Chubbs, uh, 82, $2 super chat. Sign Houston, too. And uh, Mark's guy, Matt, Matt Verderam, has been on a few times. And the last time he was on, he said that. Sign two pass rushers. Why sign one when you can sign two? Justin Houston's still on the market. He's an older defensive end, but at the same time, if the market continues to play itself out, what do you guys think? Uh, adding another defensive end, or are they cashing their chips in? I don't. I don't hate it. I mean, th- really, the only thing you lose is potential cap space you can roll over to the next year, which mm-hmm. is which you want to have, which is important. You don't want to blow it all. It's not like it's just you know free money sitting there that that uh, you know you have to spend. That's not what it is, so keep that in mind. But Justin Houston's more of an all-around player, very good against the run. So, you know, signing them together, I mean, I, I wouldn't hate it. I see the logic. I also see the logic in rolling with what you got now with Yannick Ngakwe because we've heard Ryan Pohl say it a million times. He does not want to mortgage the future at all, and having cap space to roll over is a very good thing. Real quickly, the only player that actually has had double-digit sacks under Flus um, when he was Indy was Justin Houston in 2019 with the 11 sacks. So he knows, I mean, it, it kind of would fit if it were like the Bears would go out and make that move. But another veteran in the room wouldn't hurt. Okay, so I'm I'm trying to scramble to find because I'm pretty sure this is Angel Hernandez, $85 super chat. Wow. And that is incredible. And we really appreciate your support, Angel. But there was no comment attached to it. So I'm going to do my best to scroll through the comments to try to find yours. If you're still watching, please leave a comment in and we're going to read it. But I'm going to do my best to try to find it for you, Angel. We really appreciate an $85 super chat here um, You know, for this emergency podcast show. Much appreciated for your support. Uh, yeah, appreciate it, Angel. That's the Mexican peso there, though. Is that what yeah, that yeah, is? Yeah, I, I, don't, yeah, I, don't, I believe that I don't, comes out to four dollars and ninety cents. Okay, I, you know, <laughs> but I'm we not, still appreciate I, it. I, I, just... I, I'm not in the currency transfer, you know, area of my expertise the here, and I see a <laughs> like, dollar sign next to eighty-five. So I, I was gonna let it go, but I'm like, what do you think the MX means? <laughs> I thought, see, and that's where I was getting confused, but I wasn't sure if that was a part of his name or not. Yeah, it his name like is not Angel like, Hernandez MX, but well, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. We've got I, I know, do love we've you. got the Bears bastard in here. You never know what people's names are. I'm so, with you, man. It's, it's, true. A- it's true. Angel, thank you. Hey, don't yes. get in the way, as our guy Cody Del Mendo would say at CHGO Cubs, who are red hot right now. Don't get in the way of a good story. Don't let the facts get in the way of a good story. Dollar ninety nine super chat. Bear down, boys. Love the price for this deal. <laughs> Um, I, 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 you know what? Hey, Mark, I got the power to remove move you, so you quit giggling over there. Uh, for uh, the record, a one ninety nine uh, United States dollar comes out to thirty four <laughs> <laughs> <Mexican laughs> pesos. 
Okay. okay, smart guys. I'll just keep converting the whole rest okay, of the thank show. Thank you I for mean, the conversion rates. I mean, I don't know how you could have figured that out with his name being Angel Hernandez, too. That, well, that and, you know, Mark cool. seen me tip, and he understands. <laughs> I have no idea how mathematics work. Uh, $5 super chat. Go Bears. Great show. Dominic Francilo. Uh, appreciate your support. And then finally, uh, my guy Chubbs came back in. Uh, who's a diehard meatball, so you better watch yourself, Mark. And he said, speak for yourself. We, the meatballs, think Super Bowl every year <laughs> in an undefeated season. It's more fun. It is more fun. I, I appreciate I appreciate. And we actually have a – we have like 10 more Super Chats. So we'll it's totally going. up to you how many Let's you want to burn through. You want to keep burning through them? I we'll keep, keep burning them. through them. Let's see how many more I can mess up here. Nine ninety nine Super Chat from Big Cram. This is like what DJ Moore did to the wide re- wide receiver room. Big pressure guy, which hopefully the other guys are going to feast. By the way, this is going to interrupt Krampa's sleep and is going to be extra crammy tomorrow. Listen, Krampa, I, I took my I took my pills, pills today. I'm I'm good. We can we can go three hours tonight. I, wow. I'm a big fan. I'm, Krampa's ready. Let's go. Nick's the one that has to wake up at four a.m. because of his beautiful dog that won't leave him alone he just ran in here you interrupted the show i just left if you're watching on youtube and he just put his nose through the door and now he's in his bed but yeah i'll be up early 499 super chat and i think this is an interesting question from elijah daisy is this the most excited you have ever been for a bears season um it's an interesting question when you consider what's at stake for the quarterback, which we have never had in our lives. Yeah, but I, I think I think people are forgetting the hype going into 2019. That's the oh, highest huge. I can remember it. Um, and then probably to some extent, the year after they went to the Super Bowl too. Right. Even the year they went to the Super Bowl, there was a lot of hype that year. I mean, people thought that was going to be a pretty good team, and they delivered. I don't know if they quite thought that good but 2019 was all right mitch is making the next step they have the quarterback defenses that you know the defense was the best in the league there was no question about that and it was a terribly terribly disappointing season you also had the bears 100 convention that Mm -hmm. summer that i've always said felt like a super bowl celebration before the season was ever played it was a very very cool event but i think it really drove the excitement level uh, to new heights and I'll just I'll never forget the uh, live show we did uh, in Wrigleyville uh, at Houndstooth just a couple nights before the season began that big third then and that that was a big reason too I mean they they made an exception that year uh, and had the Bears open up against the Packers and the, just the hype that that's as much hype as I can remember and then they scored three points and then and, and then they lost and it was death <laughs> yeah <laughs> why this week one is so important for the bears um because i agree that 2019 season but did have a lot of hype to it i, I do want to say though this is exciting I, I appreciate the question elijah because there's there's a different kind of excitement there's a different kind of uh i think trust that's being built here exactly and, and Ex- and I, and I think there's yes, I think everybody is. Oh, until the Bears, until we all, quite frankly, see the Bears have a real ass quarterback, there's gonna be that thought in the back of all of our heads, right? That like, what's gonna go wrong? Because that's just what it does. Mm-hmm. But there's a different. I think, I think there's a different level of healthy, cautious optimism about Justin Fields, about this offense. And go back to that word trust that has been built up in a very short amount of time, by the way, because it was awful just a couple of years ago. With There was no trust left in anybody, in George, in Ted, in Ryan Pace, in Matt Nagy. It was all out the window. And that has changed completely um, since Ryan Poles and Kevin Warren and everybody have taken over. And the, just like we've talked about earlier in the show, the moves have been so logical that it's – it's almost weird. Yeah, uh, Robert Lee in the chat. Come on, people. 1,500 people watching. Let's show some love for the guys. Hit the hit the like button. Smash it. It is free. And, yeah, of course, guys, for any of you that are new to this, 
uh, channel here at CHO Bears. This is what we do. We go live when breaking news hits. We went live for DJ Moore and had a lot of fun with it. We stop everything we're doing to try to provide you guys some coverage. We have pre- and post-game shows every single week for Chicago Bears football. We have live events, tailgates coming up for the season, uh, You know, happy hours if you join to become a diehard, newsletters that Adam Hogue puts out every day, Nick Moriano putting down uh, you know, articles to break down what he's seeing at practice every single day. Uh, this is what we try to do here at CHGO Bears. So you know, make sure you're subscribing and make sure you're following along all season long. So if this is your first time seeing us, welcome. And we do a live show every day at noon, Monday through Friday. As That's right. Well. That's the staple. Although it's been at three during training camp. It will be Excellent at three point. tomorrow. So if you want to join us tomorrow after we get you covered from Bears training camp, we'll be back at three o'clock tomorrow. But we're also not going anywhere right now. We're going to talk until two in the morning. We're going to with this many <laughs> super chats flying in. So uh, we'll try to get through these because the more we read them, the more that come in. So. Um, I'm happy to stay here until two in the morning, but we'll see how long we can last. Uh, zero chill pill, four ninety nine super chat. Do you think this signing has anything to do with Demarcus Walker getting hurt? Possibly. I hope not. Possibly. I mean, think? I'm not going to rule it out, but you know, the head coach has said that none of these injuries to this point were. I mean, the name fits zero chill pill because he needs to take a chill pill and not bring this negative energy here into the <laughs> show. For five he paid five dollars to just, you know, totally dash my dreams. No, I'm kidding. Zero, <laughs> zero chill. Let's hope the hell not. Bottom line. They, yeah. they Demarcus Walker's making an, a, a, an early impact at training camp. It'd be, it'll be exciting to see him on the field this year. I think that guy could be a part of that sneaky Bears D. I'll, I'll leave this question to you and you guys can throw it around the horn. I brought it up earlier with Terrell Lewis flashing here at camp with this signing of Yannick Ngakwe. You say he's not a three down back fine, but let's just talk about first down who's playing opposite on a regular basis. Is it going to be, is Demarcus Walker first in line or is Terrell Lewis pushing up that depth chart and will take that spot? It's gotta be Walker. I think in my opinion. Yeah. Still. I think, I think Walker's on the edge on early downs and then kicking inside and, and pass rush downs. And, and I don't know that, I mean, that's just the thing I want to be careful about with Yannick and Gakwe. I want people to understand is like he might not be on the field, you know, on first down or uh, definitely obvious rundowns. Um, it's going to be interesting. But, you know, that pass rush spot, it's why, like, whether we're talking 3 4 or 4 3, and I know this Bears defense is trending like into more of an old school Tampa too, but it's really that, that position is it. Pass rush specialist is a position now. It it, it just mm -hmm. is. They're still getting paid. It doesn't matter to the scheme. You, you go on the field on obvious third down passing situations, and you, you go get the quarterback, and that's what your job is. And 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 that's okay. That's perfectly okay, and it's worth the money. And it, and what what I wonder, and I think there's a number of factors in here. It could be Demarcus Walker's injury. It could be Yannick and Gagwe just didn't want to come to camp for a couple of weeks, and finally he's like, okay, I'm good to sign. It could be. Ryan Pohl's watching that awesome defensive practice yesterday and going, dude, his defense, maybe it's better than I thought. It's got some swagger. Mm -hmm. Just let's go get one more missing piece and add to the puzzle. It could be all of those things combined. And um and 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 I I you know, it just makes a lot of sense. So we found the Angel Hernandez comment. We found Angel Hernandez. He said, Hola to my Bears brothers in Pilsen in Windy City, all the way from Mexico City. Let's go, Bears. He's the guy that brought in the 85 peso super chat. I love Thank you, Angel. I Angel. love it. I also love that you're, you're the not best. the umpire, Angel Hernandez. <laughs> <laughs> that also is a good thing. Uh, let's you are shoot through some more of these. On my list. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Calcagno, $1.99 super chat. Will polls sign? Jadavian Clowney or Justin Houston with the 17 million they have left in cap space. Well, correct. Yeah. Ho, Ho, you can be our salary cap, uh, Brad Spielberg expert on the show tonight. If they sign one year deals, that money is available next year, right? That, I'm, I'm not missing anything on that. Correct. Well, right. But, but whatever you don't use can be carried over to next year and added to your salary cap. That's why every team's salary mm -hmm. cap is different. So, so if the once, bears, Okay. So whatever they use here is fine, but it's 
it's that much less that they could carry over to next year and add they, to this. Uh, but they're fine. I mean, like they're good. They're in good shape going forward. Like, but but you do have some big contracts uh, that you got to be scheduling for here, and one of those is your quarterback that you're hoping. In a perfect world, the Bears are signing Justin Fields to a contract extension in seven or eight months from now. That's the perfect scenario. Yep. Got a bunch more Super Chats. Adam, I don't know if we want to take another break before we get to those. Um, totally up to you guys. Uh, give me one more. All right. We got a $10 Super Chat from Don Burr Smells. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can't wait. Can't wait to see Love, Cousins, and Goff make some uh, terrible decisions under pressure and complete some passes to our secondary for pick sixes. Don Burr smells with a ten dollars super chat. That, that's a great point by Don Burr smells because people that are smiling tonight <laughs> are definitely that the bear secondary is like yes, thank you, Jalen Johnson. You want you want me to you want me to show you interceptions? All right, can I get somebody who can get in a quarterback's face? Thank you. Watch this, Ryan Poles, Matt Eberflus. Let's go. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, Don Burr is a resident troll in our chats on a daily basis, and we appreciate him tuning in. But he's a Lions fan, uh, so this is a very funny super chat name. Mark, if if Don Burr smelled, what would he smell like? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if I would. That's 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 what <laughs> it smelled like. It smelled like my golf game earlier tonight. <laughs> we were out there working brags just so you know yeah. buddy i was out i was out today too thank you very much 18 holes you ain't getting an inch on me so let's take a break and get more into some more of the super chats this guy tonight unbelievable you, are, you really you are it's a dangerous are, game i mean i'm producing you, now so I, you know you gotta keep things you, in you, line i gotta run the mm -hmm. ship it's i it's, i understand it's terrifying it's Fo terrifying for me too but fox 32 this. fox 32 had a show bears unleashed this is definitely we have it's brags unleashed this is what's happening well uh, you know every breaking news show i completely lose my shit i just I can't help it we've done the play pool one david david my i you know obviously biffed with the david montgomery thing uh, the DJ Moore breaking news show was amazing. This is so much fun. I can be here all night with you guys. I love all right. It. Well, let's get some sunny side ready and make it happen. Sunny night. Sunny side is your home for judgment free cannabis shopping, a place where all kinds of visitors are welcome to explore, discover and purchase a, a wide array of high quality products. Sunny side is everything you need to elevate your summer. And it's your one-stop shop for all your cannabis needs. No matter where you are in your cannabis journey, they have easy online ordering and in-store pickup, plus a great transparent loyalty program called Sunny Side Rewards. Illinois' favorite dispensary located all over, quite frankly. We'll go through some of the locations here in a second, but um, some of the options available to you in Sunny Side's house of brands. You got uh, the Good News Gummies the rechargeable vape pen and cart perfect for great moments with the crew. High supply offers quality weed. That's always available. Buds are expertly grown lab tested and available in vape carts, vape pens, flour, popcorn, shake, pre-rolls, shorties, and concentrates. So a lot of good options there. And through August, you can head to sunnyside.shop. Use code CHGO 25 at checkout for 25% off your total order. One use per customer, not stackable with other promotions. That's not only for new customers. That's very key here. Not only uh, that's not only for new customers. Anyone can use our code CHG, CHGO25. Pick up everything you need to elevate your summer. Must be 21 plus or an Illinois Med Card holder. Yeah, definitely go check out Sunny Sunny. You also got to check out your local Circle K. We're excited to partner with our friends at Circle K. You can check out your local. Circle K for the best coffee, beer, snack selection, and premium gas. And you look out for the freebies and giveaways down the road. Look, if you're going to go cover Bears training camp, or you're going to go watch the Bears practice, you want to make sure you're fueled up and ready to go, Circle K is going to have all the great products there for whatever you need. Again, you have the best deals that you ever, ever can get. You look at Circle K and all the products they have, but we just want to say thank you to Circle K for sponsoring CHGO. And again, visit the nearest Circle K to pick up all your favorite finds. 
Shell right, stations it, locked in with Circle K. I had I stopped in yesterday. It was delicious. Keep going. Thank you. Well, was, Circle, <laughs> Circle K. I was just about to say someone brought up the the uh, cash floor the Bears had to reach. That's a I mean that was a real thing, and I I have to go back and double check to see if this Yannick and Gakwe deal gets them there. But um, as of last week, they still had more room to go to just hit the uh, floor that they had to hit for just money that to, that needed to be spent. So, which was another reason why we knew a signing like this was coming. And oh, sure. Good way to use that money, I think. Um, one area that I could still see them, I know people are asking about signing Justin Houston still. I, I could still see them signing more offensive line help. Yeah. We, I mean, just, mm-hmm. he, we, we've seen the last couple of days at guard. Um, with Tevin Jenkins going out, Nate Davis not being there, and all of a sudden you got Alex Leatherwood in there. I'm still, I'm willing to crack the door open a little bit to Alex Leatherwood as a guard. So I want to see that. I'm intrigued. That's actually one of the low key things I'm intrigued by in this preseason. Um, now that they got him at guard, but still like, uh, and then Tyree Carter too. If he's the next guy at guard, like there's, but even a tackle, I, I. Are you guys totally comfortable with Larry Borum's the swing tackle? Uh, well, I I think you're right about this, Hogue. I think you you could absolutely see an addition there. What I'm worried about is Tevin. The Borum thing, I actually am I'm okay with it as a backup swing, no problem. But but how serious is Tevin's injury? That's that's a little freaky. So you you yeah. you might need to do a low key depth well, three million even, dollar. And ad. even if Tevin Jenkins wasn't injured, it's still you know not likely he's making it through a 17 game season as much as I hate mm-hmm. to say that. So yep. you you have to use this waiver order priority that they sit at to your advantage. You got to use the money that you have to your advantage and try to find guys on a one year deal because or you know because you have money to spend this year and even next year. So, you know, I think that that's a that's a great point and they absolutely should look to continue to bolster this depth because now I feel like they have respectable depth on the defensive line. Are they the Eagles defensive line of last year? No, but at the same time, I think that they can make plays and and really help this secondary get some pass rush in there. The offensive line now is that final piece that on paper, that first unit. Okay. They're solid, but they don't have quality depth at offensive line and there will be injuries to that line. So they're going to have to continue to try to bolster depth in that spot. I completely agree with that. All right. Um, just checking here. I was trying to get more on this money situation, but uh, we'll we'll still find it. Um, well, while you're doing that, I can read a couple more super yeah. chats. Uh, Lavie, uh, Lavie's ten dollars super chat. Polls had priorities for 2023, one year deal for Ngakwe, so they can draft a pass rusher with the picks accumulated for 2024. Yeah, look, he didn't he didn't do anything to salvage the future, you guys. And look, we know the Bears have draft capital next year. And if they want to go get maybe a top edge rusher, depending on how how the season plays out, they're they're gonna be in play for that. They'll have the resources to do that if that's what they feel they need to do to just again and keep improving this team in, in the next season. Poles was asked, What are you most happy with this offseason? And it was that he was able to set them up for now and for the future. Mm-hmm. This move is exactly right along driving down that street. Good for now, good for the future. Options yep. open, flexibility is there, talent added. Poles. Is there is there a Poles jersey? I'm gonna get a Poles jersey. <laughs> what number would Poles wear? I think he'd be wearing the brick by brick jersey. That's that's our guy <laughs> over there, Ryan Poles. So um, you know, yeah, I, I'm excited for that. Uh, you know, as far as you know, the idea that they have so much to work with with cap space and draft equity next year. I want them to trade that Carolina pick like five times back after it becomes the number one pick again. And we'll do five breaking shows for every one of those trades of that pick. Uh, Dollar, did you find the stat you were looking for, Adam? No, I don't know. But I, there's somewhere around spending that minimum for the uh, the, the, the cash floor. And, chat, chat saying yeah, it's five millions left. Okay. Is that, what yeah. did Gary say? That's what I need to know. Dollar uh, <laughs> ninety nine super chat. Alex seventy nine. Hogue, stop complaining every day. It's annoying. <laughs> what did I complain about? Stop complaining. All right. What <laughs> did you complain about? 
Shut up. Just stop. <laughs> I love okay. It. I was really hoping that was for Carm instead of Hoag. Like, I think just, Alex just, 79 just, secretly my wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful things. Hey, you know. In which that case, one I'm going to complain about her been... spending one ninety nine on that comment. <laughs> in her in her burner account. Tyler oh. Vaughn, four ninety nine super chat. I genuinely think the North is last year's NFC East and gonna have th- three playoff teams. Tyler Vaughn. I, I don't know about that one. I mean, I think most people on paper right now think the NFC North is is the worst division, right? Yeah, well, that's kind of, I think, what Tyler's getting at is no one really thought that NFC East last year was going to be true spectacular. Um, and it was it turned out to be a pretty tough division. I don't know, man. I... I <laughs> I, I, it's possible. It's possible. I, I'm intrigued to see if the Lions can really double down on what they did last year. The one thing I will say is I, I wouldn't totally sleep on the Vikings. I know they are due for a regression, but and they're not going to win 13 games again. But I don't think they're going to be a pushover, and I think they can be in the conversation for a playoff spot late in the year. Um, so those games are still going to be really tough. <laughs> Now we're getting somewhere. I love when – hey, as many Super Chats we can make fun of Carm. I'm all for Big Cram, 499 Super Chat. I like how everyone has a cool background with memorabilia and some Jordan 1s. And then there's Carm. I bet that man doesn't own furniture or, or an umbrella. <laughs> hey, 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 look here, Big Cram. All I know is that I want the I, – I had dinner plans. I had everything going on here. True. And I stopped everything to be right here with you, Big Cram, so you can suck <laughs> – I mean, I, didn't say that. <laughs> I love you, Big Cram. You're my guy. <laughs> Damn it! That would have been a great. Gr- almost a- got fired. <laughs> this is this is a, this is a great background, Big Cram. Appreciate this background. <laughs> oh, my uh, oh, right. That's my guy. Edge. It's my guy, right Big Cram. We're edge. just you know we're just talking. Oh, uh, you you better be careful. I saw Big Cram. It is that is that the same Car- guy? Car- Big Cram is my guy. Car- <laughs> at the end of his rope <laughs> with Bears fans. This is great. Oh, <laughs> We're not even to the first preseason game. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love every single one of you. That's that's how I live hey, my life. Carm said, if Justin Fields throws for four thousand yards, he's going to shave his head. Uh, so we'll, we'll we'll get ours eventually if if things can go right. But that. Things really need to go right for that to occur. Double D, another $5 super chat. Brags, I'm the one who made the super chat for you two to take the Malort shots. Double D, I know because we read that super chat, and I know that's who you were. <laughs> I don't know what that noise is. It must be a plane. I think it was that um, plane that flew over House Hall yesterday. <laughs> yeah. No Malort is in my house. I have a ton of whiskey. but I Yeah, you know, me too. I'm not drinking Malort, but. And I'm, I don't. I actually have Malort. Guys... <laughs> I have a bottle of Malort that was gifted for uh, someone. Someone for my birthday. One of my friends That's like here. Your favorite good gift. That's right. a it's not. Gift. It is still there. It's guys, still there. Every, That's a everybody bad wants, gift. Everybody wants the monkey to dance. The monkey will dance. Double D. Oh, this is thank you God. for the super chats. Everybody tuning in. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There it is. Took the shot. Yeah, I got for you people. Let's go. That's the only one I'm doing, though. So no more super chats for me to get drunk tonight. I got to get up in the morning. Why was that in reaching distance? And why is it the I mean, that? I'm willing uh, to do it, but I, I got to walk to a different I'm, room. Kind of up, You're I've just like, up. yep, there it is. <laughs> well, I mean, I always have Crown or Jack Daniels nearby, but they're not a sponsor. So, you know, until they become a sponsor, we're not going to give them the shout out. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Bear Forever 14, $2 super chat. Cubs win again, boys, and bear down for Yannick. Love it. Right up my alley. Cubs are on fire. Hogs weeping. Calm. I'm not, I'm, I don't root against the Cubs. I think this is cool. I'm very okay. jealous. I think Good. they're I like are, they're on a fun run. They're a fun team. It must be nice to have fun. My yeah, team does and not you're have more than fun. welcome to have fun with us on this on this side of the tracks. <laughs> Carm doesn't believe in them, and then goes no, to the no, 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 score no, twenty no, runs. Don't no, 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 you you are not gonna you are not gonna put my thoughts on the Cubs out there. I, I you can ask me a question. <laughs> I, I was skeptical, and and I am I am believing by the moment here. Go, go Jed. Finally. Way to go. 
Thank Finally. You. All right. You know when Carm's turning into the believe train that we're getting closer to that goal. So once uh, bear season comes around, I guess that'll be the meter or the barometer. Uh, Patrick Tahawa, $5 super chat. Love your show. Bears fan since 1982. This season going to be magical. Can't wait. Tahawa. Uh, Tahawa. Of... Patrick no, Tahawa. I, I didn't but butcher Carm, it. What did he say last me. night? <laughs> Braggs, will you Bregs, just shut Bregs. up for three seconds? I can't. My I have God. to read the super. You can read the super chats hey, then. Hey, hey, Greg, where, where where did I go to camp? I heard this guy last night that was, you know, Jack Silverstein was the the camp counselor there, and I don't remember, but I butchered the name. Yeah. Remind me. So I, I went to camp. First of all, Jack went to North Star. Great camp. I went to Nabagamon. And when Greg read it, we're going to have this on the show when Lawrence is producing. Uh, you said, you said, and and it was a super chat. And and Carm went to Nibba Gay Man. That's what you said. <laughs> Nibagamon uh. became, and 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 Carm went to Nibba Gay Man. I don't and, know what camps you guys are talking about that they sent you all to because you're parents didn't, didn't want to didn't, put up with you guys they, they not okay we we begged to go and it was the greatest <laughs> summers ever and 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 it's called camp nabagamon just so you know and it's an amazing nabagamon. place yeah Thank you're a Bra- bagamon. brags there's a zero percent chance i would pronounce it right too yeah mm, you're, but, a bag of, you're a bagabon moving on <laughs> super bowl <laughs> master yoda super bowl we will win oh okay little yoda, uh, yoda in here bowl. let's go yoda. Continuing to roll along with these super chats. Are you as concerned about Braxton Jones as I am? I'm hearing he's struggling against the bull rush. He's got Yannick to deal with now. He's got to get those hands right, you guys. He's got to get those hands right. So um, uh, hopefully we see it better better on Friday. Yeah, I mean, I appreciated how critical Braxton Jones was the other day about his play and how you know he was the first one when Nick asked about Demarcus Walker, he knew exactly where Nick was going with that question and said everything that was wrong. And then he, the only thing that I thought was concerning was he didn't exactly fix it the next day. So <laughs> he did not. But, you know, I, Braxton Jones, it's, it, we're way too early to be concerned about stuff like that yet. But and now they got a Yannick Ngakwe running out there too. So it's going to be interesting to practice. Uh, a lot of people in the chat are saying iron sharpens iron, and he will help Braxton. But I'm not worried about Braxton at all. Bra- uh, I think Braxton's going to be there. Braxton's going to be fine. Not elite, yeah. but fine. Over right. 1,500 mm-hmm. people still in the chat. Uh, we're going to put a cutoff on Super Chat, so I got to. We have still got like 10 more to read. Anybody else that puts one in, maybe we'll log them for tomorrow, but we cannot go all night. We got to get yeah. our rest but, for tomorrow's training camp. But also what I was going to say, Braggs, is we can still, like especially the short ones, we can still show them on the screen. We don't have to – go through every single oh, one yeah, show them. however you want to do it you know yeah. I, but, eric alley said braggs cannot shut up for three seconds it's science i'm going to prove to you eric that i can shut up we're just going to read these super chats through <laughs> and adam's going to lose his mind at some point I so mean, somewhere around 20 minutes ago this turned into braggs after dark again I, I i have to read the super chats if you don't want to <laughs> read them and you just want to put them up on the screen you know, that's fine, but that's a new policy we're instating for, you know, our our, our breaking news show. I'm, I apologize. You, you know, you, you, good show here. you could put them on the screen and somebody else could read them. <laughs> that's also an option. Hey, like I could say, football however BFK. you want to do. See, no, he you didn't let you. It. You started to read it and then he immediately started talking again. <laughs> you you want to do this show by yourself. You should just admit it and then you well, want Well then all you guys leave and I'll talk to the Bears fans. <laughs> Nick will stay. Let the old timers go to bed. Night night, old timers. Goodbye. Nick, left. go ahead and read the next super chats. Oh. The old guys gotta go get their, you know, warm their glass of warm milk. <laughs> I'd love that. Uh, uh football CF candy. candy. Who was the Colts pass rusher in 2018? 30th and 10th? Uh, I don't know. Who was Yannick the Colts pass rusher? In 2018? Uh, no. You're the greatest. Thank you. <laughs> Do you want to? I'll let you read this one, Mark. Oh, my guy, Chris Pagaro. Gregory Braggs is so inspirational. $1.99. There you're, you go. You're absolutely right, Chris. 
Yeah. Yeah. Nice stuff. All right. Your turn, Adam. Or are we not reading these? We're not going to read these. We're just going to let them flow on the screen so we can all go to bed. I'm not going to bed. I went and got some of the nice bourbon that uh, Carmen. <laughs> there you go. For, Let's get uh, drunk. Well, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I am going to go to bed after this, but um, yeah, the the bet we had for uh, the, you know the Bears drafting a running back or not drafting a running back, whatever it was, I won it. So mm-hmm. there it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, it, it, it's a cause for celebration tonight. Jonathan says, "Need we the meatball shirt." You could make a meatball shirt. Bragg's have to wear it. He has to wear it every day. What do you got there, Basil Hayden? Little Basil Hayden. This is the good stuff. Yeah, we don't play around over here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Don says, four ninety nine. The Bears' offensive line looked like trash on Wednesday, and yes, I was there. Nauseous. It was not a great day. It was not a great day for the offensive line. Back to back, four ninety nine super chats with no comment attached to it from Alan Locky. Uh, we appreciate your support. Uh, if I can find it in the chat, I'll try to pull it up, or you can message me later, and then I'll give you a shout out on Twitter. We can go in spaces and talk about this till three in the morning. Yeah. Uh, and Josh says, "Let's go." Thank for the thanks for the timely and great coverages, gents. Four ninety nine. Okay, uh, Gary Ross, four ninety nine super chat. Uh, we can try to wrap this up, but I do think this is a good question that we haven't got out into. If they keep five ends, isn't Dom Rob the odd man out? I am guessing they keep Yannick, Walker, Green, Gibson, and Lewis. Uh, I need to see mm. games. I need to see games yeah. before I start. And and that's a good call, though. It's possible. It, I, I'm not ruling it out completely. If Dom Rob doesn't, you know, show more, but I still think this team's in a position where you're going to you're going to keep the younger guy over veteran on a one-year deal, for instance, you know, with Yannick and Gakwe obviously being the exceptions to that. Um hey, there's one more sponsor that we got to uh thank before we get out of here. Lewis University. They have students just like you, full-time jobs, families, full-time sports fandoms. You can go back to school and earn a respected degree at Lewis University, 35 35 miles southwest of Chicago in Romeoville, ranked as one of U.S. News and World Report's top-tier colleges. Lewis partners with numerous employers for tuition discounts and offers evening online and blended formats to help you balance work, family, and education. It's all about making it convenient for you and their faculty bring real-world experience and instruction to the classroom which is immediately relevant to your career. If you're looking to complete your bachelor's or master's degree or enroll in a professional certificate program, Lewis has the right program for you. A ton of career-focused programs that will set you up for success. A couple of examples here about data science, cybersecurity. Lewis is a Department of Homeland Security Center of Academic excellence in cybersecurity. They also have business analytics, finance, your MBA, you name it, they got it. Uh, Lewis U, they're there for you. They're trying to make it convenient for you to, be, for, so you can finish your degree. Discover how a degree from Lewis can help you build a better world. Learn more at lewisu.edu slash you can do this. Uh, all right, yeah, Bears are going to the Super Bowl. Final Super Chat. I'm going to put a bow on this. It's the final one. I put the other ones on the screen. I did what I was told, and I kind of shut up for a minute. Not really. Justin Frost, $10 Super Chat. We got ourselves an ed- Edge Rusher, boys. King Pole strikes again. Just a question. How do you guys do your emergency podcast? How does the band get together, so to speak? Who's checking the updates? There's a lot of questions. like a three-barrel question there from Justin. That's a lot. Um, Ho gets the win tonight. He he was paying attention. He put it out for all of us. I was then right there, and then a guy by the name of Greg Braggs scre- starts screaming, let's do it. By the way, I think you all should just give uh, Jake Flanagan, who sent me the Yannick and Gakway background, a huge uh, – I mean, this is, a big, this is a big moment for me. We are flying to the Super Bowl, baby. Let's go. <laughs> That's yes. a good answer. Yeah, and then we just all communicate in our work. Mm-hmm. Uh, chat and uh, put together a lot of people behind the scenes though I mean we even got some help from Eric out in Denver tonight uh, putting together some of the graphics and um, it's it was a it, there's a lot of people involved in doing this and um, we got a new emergency podcast graphic on there uh, which was great so 
we'll have those going forward whenever it's necessary. You can see it right there if you're watching on YouTube. And uh, hopefully everybody's consuming this, uh, too, as a podcast. Maybe you're listening in the morning uh, on your commute. But uh, glad we were able to get this out there for you tonight. Big news for the Bears. A uh, lot of trickle-down effect. I'm excited to – I'm not assuming Yannick Ngakwe is going to be out there practicing tomorrow or maybe not at all this weekend for all we know. But uh, excited to hear what Ryan Poles has to say about this, see what Yannick says when he's joining the team, and then eventually get him out there in, uh, in on the practice field and see what he can do. It's going to be a good test for the offense. Mm-hmm. Yep. So – that's it. We get through everything, Braggs? Yeah, we got through everything. I, I, You know, we got 1,500 people in the chat, Mark, so I would like to remind everybody that we have a CHGO kickoff classic coming up Friday, August 25th at Cog Hill Golf Course. Uh, please sign up for it. Uh, we got links. If you look up on our uh, – go to allchgo.com. If you look on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, that's a polo shirt from Pins and Aces that you can that is made available to anyone that signs up. Uh, you'll have a chance to purchase that. We got a bunch of foursomes in there. It's going to be a lot of fun. All of us here will be there. Corey Wooten will be there, who's a part of the CHGO Bears team and the rest of the CHGO sports team. So this is a, the, as good a t- time as now to become a diehard. Adam Hogue puts out daily newsletters exclusively to diehards only. There's just a lot of different perks. If you sign up, you get a shirt made available, which you see in the link for our YouTube below. You can get a free shirt the moment you become a diehard. Get discounts on our live events like our tailgates coming up. So a lot of perks. Sign up to become a diehard. Come to Cog Hill. Keep tuning in because tomorrow we continue to do training camp recap shows after every single practice for the rest of the summer. Yeah, and it will have a Bears Things newsletter out tomorrow morning on this Yannick Ngakwe signing. So for CHGO diehards, you'll have that in your inbox. Yes, Carm. Let's just say it all together. Polls. Polls, 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 war, polls, 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 polls. <laughs> Way to uh, go. I don't Ryan. know how else to end this podcast but to let uh, Bragg sing about everyone. So, uh, Bragg's take it away. Hit the like button, ladies and gentlemen. What a night. Bears are back, baby. Bear down.